it going? So, found a passed out in the parking lot, just sitting here. So he was in the drive -thru. Yeah, he's in, okay. on, car's on. Took me like a few minutes to wake him up. Kept knocking, opened the door, like shook him. Woke up super groggy, kind of smell, pretty good smell of alcohol beverage coming out of the car. Eyes are watery, glassy, snoring his words, wasn't really sure where he was. And uh, telling me he had one drink, he said earlier. Standard size, trying to say, oh, I think just one drink, but I can smell alcohol, I'm still. And uh, he's trying to tell me, where are you coming from? He said, well, I'm coming from uh, Jonesboro, I got food. I said, what are you doing here? I got more food. So he's really not too clear, like, that could, I got right. here, got there. But I mean, so, words. And so this was a 911 call, right? Yeah, yeah, the drive through called it in. So somebody called because he was in the drive through He just passed out in the car. Passed out in the drive through Yep. Okay. That's and then I you just him. had him pull over. To yeah, the side. I had him move out of the way. And then when he pulled up, he actually hit over the curb onto the grass and, like, backed it up. Okay. So I, you know, I'm leaving here. He's just going to drive again. Right? Sure, absolutely. All right, let me go talk to him. What's his name? Do you have his ID? Yeah. This is a rental car. He's, he's, uh, okay. Hey, Mr. Brooks. Mr. Brooks. How you doing? Hey, I'm Officer Rolf of the Atlanta Police Department. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. All right, so uh, tell me, I wasn't here, so can you tell me what uh, what That's happened it. before we got here? Uh, nothing happened. I just got here and was getting some need. Where are you, where are you coming from? Uh, well, my friend dropped me off here, and you, she she brought me here to get something to eat. And your friend dropped you off where? Here. At Wendy's. Yes. Okay. So. From was, the home lodge. So where's your friend now? She's at the hotel. What hotel? Oh, uh, right here at the home lodge. Where's that? What's the address to it? I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I know she's here at the home lodge. All right. So how did how did she drop you off here? She drove here and dropped me off. In in what car? And uh, a black Volvo. Okay. Actually. So I, how did this car get here? I mean, it was here before I came. Like, this is my car, it's a rental car, my sister, but I mean, like I told her, I, I, I came here, I met her here. Okay. From the beginning, and she picked me up, and I mean, we went out. So we you met her here at the Wendy's? Yes. And then you went out with her? Yes. And, and then she, she came, came and dropped back you off? here. Okay. And, you know, I mean, like I told her, I mean, hey, hey babe, you know, I, I just want a burger or I want fries. She said, hey, no problem. I'll take you there. All right. You get your fries and you come back to the hotel. Okay. Said, no so problem. the reason why we're here is because somebody called 911 because you were asleep behind the wheel while you were in the drive through right? You recall that? I don't. I don't. You don't recall that? You don't recall just minutes ago where you were passed out behind the wheel in the drive through Uh-uh. You don't recall that at all. A absolutely, just complete, I don't. just complete blur. I, I wasn't driving. Like I said, I, I just during my uh, girlfriend. She probably was uh, sleeping, but like I said, I said, "Bay, I want French fries." So far as I'm aware, you're the only per person that's been seen in this vehicle, right? Yeah. And you've been in the driver's seat the whole time. So how did the car get into the drive-through line with you behind the wheel? She drove here. I okay. said, babe, I'm drinking you in know, a black car. In a black Volvo. Oh, and you got into your car. And I said, hey, you know what? No problem. I'll just meet you at the hotel. Okay. And she said, All right. hey, get out. Hold, hold on. So after she drops you off here in her black car, your car was parked where? Here. Okay. So how did your car get from here to the, the drive through line? I, I never moved. So how did it get there? It, it never did get there. I, I told you I was in her car. Well, we've got a 911 call of people reporting a guy passed out behind the wheel in the line. This officer gets here and sees you. Everything's on camera. Sees you sees in the line. here in the line. In the well, line. I, was, I wasn't in the line. Did I pull you over in the line? I well, you walked up. You had to wake up, man. You didn't in, pull him right over. Right here? No, it was here. I had to wake you up. Well, look. They went back to sleep, and I had to wake up again. Like I said, I, I'm I'm sorry if I, Your Honor, I, I just got something to eat. I went to visit my mother's grave site. I'm not causing any problems. Well, we got to make sure that you're safe to operate a vehicle. Now, do you know where you are? Yeah, absolutely. Where I'm are in you? Forest Park, Old Dixie Highway. Old Dixie Highway and Forest the Park. Home Lodge is there, right right here, Subway. Right. A Subway, okay. So it's a subway right here. I'm, I'm I'm cool. Like I said, I could I could. So you you think that you're in Forest Park right now? I'm on Old Dixie Highway, Clayton County. Right. No, you're not. 
Well, Forest Park, Georgia. No. Nope. Jonesboro, Georgia. No. Nope. And try again. I have to. I mean, like I said, I'm on Old Dixie Highway. Nope. I'm not on Old Dixie Highway. Nope. Quite a ways away from it. Huh? This is a bridge is here. Nope. No bridge. No, I'm saying Old Dixie Highway. You're not near Old Dixie Highway. I'm not. You're, you're on not even in Clayton County. Where am I? You're in Atlanta. Yes. Old Dixie Highway. Old Dixie Highway is not in Atlanta. It's Forest Park, Georgia, right? Right. This isn't Forest Park. This is Atlanta. I mean... Anyway, how much have you had to drink today? I drank early. Okay. How much that's, have you had to drink? That's when I had... Man, one drink. Oh, you're not being honest with me. How much did you have to drink? I had one drink. Be honest with me. I Over the course of the entire evening, from the time you started drinking until your very last drink, how many drinks did you consume? I had one drink. What kind of drink was it? A margarita. Oh, uh, okay. How big was the margarita? It was just a small cup. A small cup? Yes, right. sir. Have you taken any medication today? No, sir. Any drugs of any kind? No, marijuana, sir. cocaine, nothing like that? No, sir. Do you have any medical conditions, physical defects? Hold on, let me finish. Do you have any medical conditions, physical defects, or injuries that would affect your ability to walk, balance, no, I'm, I'm or okay. operate a vehicle safely? I'm okay. Nothing whatsoever? No, sir. No issues I need to know about? No, sir. All right. Uh, can you could you just take your hat off for me? Just leave it in your car for me. You just leave it in your car. <laughs> uh, can you step out with me, please? Yes, sir. Just walk back here. Do you have any weapons on you or anything like that? I don't have anything on me. Is it okay if I patch down? Just make sure. If you, I have just money, gas, and uh, that was it. Is it okay if I patch you down to make sure you don't have any weapons? Absolutely. Right, can you just it's turn around, right. face away from me, real quick. This, what is this? It's just a bunch of money in your pocket. No, it's just my wallet. What's what's all this? It, it's just money. Why do you? Ha how much money do you have in your pocket? Um, I mean maybe. A couple hundred bucks. Okay. Just like a bunch of ones and stuff. Here. Yeah. What? Absolutely. Just walk over here with me, please. This uh, is Wendy's. Yes, this is Wendy's. Yeah, yes. I do remember. <laughs> I mean, you can see the sign, right? Absolutely. All I, right. I, I just came to get something. Hey, to eat. Uh, you mind just put your phone on the trunk of your car? I don't want you to have anything in your hands. All right. All right, so no medical conditions, no, no injuries, no, no physical sir. defects. No, Are you comfortable sir. walking in these shoes? Absolutely. Well, they're brand new. I just bought them. Can you walk in them without falling, stumbling, anything like that? Um, Staggering? You walk in them okay? I just bought them. Can you walk in them okay? I mean... You don't have to, to show me. I'm just asking. <laughs> are you comfortable walking in the shoes? I mean, I, they are comfortable, but... Right. I just like to do some field sobriety tests. And if you'd like, if you'd prefer, you can keep them on. If you're more comfortable with it, you can take them off. I, I hadn't been, like I said, I hadn't been operating this vehicle. Yeah, you have. All right, so. You know, so she she came here. I, I got in the car. She parked. I have no problem. Like I said, I was just trying to get me something to eat. Okay. And go back to my hotel. All right, well, I mean, we have a police officer that actually personally witnessed you operating the vehicle. So we know you're operating the vehicle. All right, but are you comfortable walking in the shoes? Absolutely, sir. All right, will you do some field sobriety tests for me? Um, so I, I can mean, make sure you're safe to operate the vehicle. What 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 should I what should I do, sir? Well, first off, I just want to know you're comfortable walking in your shoes. You don't want to do all that. Just it's just yes or no. Hey. Can you walk in the shoes while yes, falling? Sir. Okay, yes, very sir. good. All right, just turn, and face me. Put your feet together with your hands down by your side. All right. Can you see the tip of my finger? Yes, sir. All right. I want you to focus on the tip of my finger and follow it with your eyes without moving your head. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. Don't move your head. Keep your head still. Follow with just your eyes. Do you understand? You understand? Yes, sir. All right.
I'm going to go down and up, stay focused on the tip of my finger, follow it with just your eyes without moving your hand. All right, back up a little bit. Can you stand where my light is? And then just face my car there. All right, stand with your feet together, hands down by your side. Don't start anything until I tell you to, do you understand? Yes, sir. I want you to imagine a straight line coming out from your left foot. Take your right foot, put it heel to toe in front of your left foot, just like this. All right, keep your hands by your side, hold that position until I tell you to start. Don't begin until I tell you to, do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, you're going to take a series of nine heel to toe steps, counting them out loud. One, two, three. I took three steps, you're going to go all the way to nine. When you get to nine, leave your lead foot planted. Take a series of small steps to turn yourself around. Take nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three, all the way until nine. All right, during the test, look down at your feet, count your steps out loud so that I can hear them. Keep your hands by your side and don't stop walking until you complete the test. Do you understand? Yep, absolutely. Do you have any questions about how to form the test? Um, no, sir. All right, here, get back in that starting position. Put your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. Right foot heel to toe in front of your left. No, your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. There you go. How was that first? Well, it was, it was kind of off. All right. So from These shoes are kind of all. Right, are you comfortable performing the test in those shoes? Yes, sir. And if you want, you have the option to take them off. You want to leave them on? Can I take them off? It's up to they're, you. They're brand new. It's up to you. You can take. You can leave them on. Or you can take them off. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, I'm not sure. I'm brand. Oh, I'm new. not sure. I can't. They're, pay. they're brand new, sir. I just put them on. Okay, then. I haven't even drove in them or anything. But it's up to you. Whether you want. All right. You want to do it with them on? Yes. All right. If you understand the, the, all the instructions, you have no questions, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. You said, re repeat that again for me for the sobriety. You want me to demonstrate it again? Yes, sir. All right, hold that position. Don't begin until I tell you to. Watch me while I demonstrate, okay? Keep your hands by your side. You're going to take a series of nine heel-to-toe steps, counting them out loud. One, two, three. I took three steps. You're going to go all the way to nine. When you get to nine, leave your lead foot planted. Take a series of small steps to turn yourself around. Take okay. nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three, all the way until nine. While you're doing that, look down at your feet, keep your hands by your side, count your steps out loud so that I can hear them, and don't stop walking until you complete the test. You understand? Start with my. Uh, you're going to start in that starting position with your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. All right. Do you have any questions about how to perform the test? Yes, sir. All right. If you understand all the instructions, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. One, two, Three. Four. Turn around. Incorrect number of steps. Nine. One. Miss. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. All right. Well, we're busy. They're going to have to call. All right. Just, you know, stand right there. Just face my car again. Yes, sir. Put your feet together. Hands down by your side. Don't start anything until I tell you to. You're going to pick whichever foot you're most comfortable with. Raise that foot approximately six inches above the ground. Keeping both legs straight and your foot parallel to the ground. Look at your toe and count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. While you're doing that, keep your hands by your side. Focus on your toe and count out loud as I instructed. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, do you have any questions about how to perform the test? Two feet up, count out, out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and two, stop. All right. All right, do you have any questions about anything that I demonstrated or how to perform the test? No, sir. All right, if you understand all the instructions clearly, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015. Touch. Pick it up. Keep going. 
1,000. All right, you can stop. All right. On a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being completely sober and 10 being very impaired, how do you feel right now? I feel kind of good, sir. I feel, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a knowledgeable of everything that's going on. And like I said, I mean, if I just came to get something to eat, you know, and I have people that verify, they, they made their order. I'm here right at the hotel home lodge and, you know, it's probably about, I mean, two minutes away from here. Right. Did, did you understand what I asked you? Did you understand the question? Repeat it again for me. On a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being completely sober and 10 being very impaired, how do you feel? I'm 10. I'm very impaired. You feel very impaired? Absolutely. I'm, I'm okay. I can I can do whatever. Like I said, I can I can, I can make it happen, sir. I, 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 don't, I don't think that means what you think it means. So, 1 being completely sober, haven't drank anything, and 10 being hammered drunk, how do you feel? I'm one. On a scale from one to ten, I'm one. you feel completely sober. I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I just woke you up. Do, you don't feel the effects of the alcohol that you had at whatsoever. Absolutely not. Not I at can, all. I can make it. I can make it wherever I need to be. I'm right here. Like I said, I'm home lodge, sir. The home lodge isn't close to here. It's, it's right behind the home lodge, right here, ain't it? Where do you think you are right now? I'm on Old Dixie Highway. You're not on Old Dixie Highway. Well, I'm not on Old Dixie. What Highway, city do you think you're in? She brought me here saying that I was on Jonesboro. So what city are you in? Atlanta. Atlanta? Yes, yes sir. On what road? Um, McDonald Boulevard? No. I mean, Alright, so let's go back. How much have you had to drink? She was drinking. Like I said, she brought me here. I don't know who she is. I don't care who she is. I said, how much have you been drinking? Just a couple. That's one. I had one and a half. That was it. So, is it a couple or is it one or is it one and a half? I put, when I got to the half, I put it away. I said, babe, let's go. I feel, you know, I need to make it home. So, and one and a half safe. drinks. Yes, sir. All right. Of what? Um, It was just a daiquiri. A daiquiri? Yes. One and a half daiquiris. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It was consistent. just a it was just a daiquiri. A daiquiri. But, um, nothing else. Nothing else. Only nothing. a daiquiri. Only. You haven't had a margarita or anything? No, no, no. It was just a, um, like the, the green little daiquiri thingy. But like I said, if 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 I cause any... I, I never intend to, you know, bring anybody into problem. I just wanted me a burger. Right. So, but, but no margaritas at all today? No, no, it's just a daiquiri. Just a daiquiri. Yes. All right. So and, Natalie and, White. Right. And you, and you didn't, and you haven't, dr you haven't drove your vehicle at all. You, you said you caught me in the. Right there, right there. I woke you up, and then I said you need to move the car, and then you said okay, and then you went back to sleep. Then I opened your door again. I had to shake you, and you woke up, and then I asked you to move the car over there. That's the BP by the Marathon Jonesboro. This is University Avenue. Yes. Very good. This is University Avenue. Yep. My I grow up here. Okay. You know, Natalie White, she's my girlfriend. Okay. She left off. I said, babe, I'm going to get Wendy's and I'm going to go back to where. That's, 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 what I asked you was, have you drove that vehicle? I mean, probably from, from the point of the drive through to here to park. Okay. And how did it get into the drive through She pulled out. I pulled out from here where this, this red car was. I remember this red car. So it, out. it got into the drive through because you drove it into the drive through correct? I, I mean, if, if, if you caught me in the drive through then I, I didn't drive here. My Absolutely. question is, your vehicle got into the drive through because you drove I it there, right? out and drove, you know, said, baby, baby, I need burgers. She said, okay, fine. I'm going home. My said, question, no, no problem. I, so, I just so I understand what happened clearly. Your vehicle was in a parking spot 
your girlfriend dropped you off, you got into your vehicle, you backed it out, and you pulled it into the drive through correct? Yes, sir. And yes, then, sir, Mr. Roth. And then what led to you falling asleep behind the wheel? I, dre I, ca I was on the phone calling her. She didn't answer, she didn't answer, she didn't answer, she didn't answer. I said, babe, last time I answered. I said, baby, uh, I'm getting burgers and, you know, what's going on? She said, uh, you, you're supposed to get burgers. Just go ahead and get burgers and the phone went dead. Okay. I said, well, um, you don't know your order, you know, whatever the case may be. Just let me know and the phone went dead. Like I said, I can call her now. Natalie White, she stays right down the road. I have a, a, a parking spot right down the street here. Okay. If I, like I said, if I cause any problems well, or on. anything. Did you understand the question that I asked you? Yes. What did I ask you? You said, how did that, my car get from the driving spot to the, to the drive? Right, well, that was the previous question. We established, we, we answered that question. My next question was, what led to you falling asleep behind the wheel? Why did you fall asleep behind the wheel? I fell asleep because I can't, I can't, I can't blame nothing on her. It was my decision. I said, "Hey, if she can't get her order, her order together, and you know I'm not feeling, you know, of tight right now, I should just park right here, go to sleep. I'm not feeling, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just not feeling right." What do you mean you're not feeling right? She, like do I said. Do you think maybe that you had too much to drink and you realized that you shouldn't drive so you park? I mean. Would that be accurate to say? Yes, sir. Mr. Roth, yes. All right, so your girlfriend dropped you off. You got into the car. I you backed out. You pulled up. Her. And you're like, damn, I'm too drunk to drive. And so you pull back into the parking spot and park, right? I call her and like, bang. Is that accurate? It, it, I don't if it, it's a couple moments I got on the phone with her. Yeah. I'm like, babe, hey, damn, you know, um, you want number one or number two or? But she's like, would babe, you would you agree? You uh, you take care of that. You're a man. You figure out what we're going to eat tonight. All right, all right, let's move past that. Would you agree that you've had too much to drink to drive? I mean, I can focus, Mr. Roth. I can focus. Would you agree that you've had too much to drink to I, drive? I haven't had. You know, to the point where I can't focus. Okay. I was a little tired of hitting her day because we just came from North Carolina. Do you think that you're safe to operate a vehicle right Absolutely, now? Absolutely, Mr. Roth. And how much have you had to drink? I had two margar uh, one and a half margaritas, Mr. Roth. One and a half margaritas. Yes, sir. Margaritas. Yes. Have you had anything else today? Any other type of drink? No, sir. You haven't had any daiquiris. I haven't had no daiquiri. I had one <laughs> and a half little small cups of margarita, but margarita. I can. I'm up now. Y'all got me up with this. Got you up. I'm up now. I got if you. I, if hey, will you take a preliminary breath test for me? Uh, what's, what's that? It's a little handheld machine. I have you blow into it, and that lets me know if you're uh, positive or negative for the presence of alcohol in your breath. I, I've been drinking. Okay. I, I, I do um say that. Okay. But I'm only going a few minutes down the road. Mr. I got you. I'm just asking, will you take a preliminary breath test for me? I mean, I, I don't know what it is. I just said, it's a little handheld machine. Let's me know if it's positive or, or negative for the presence of alcohol. That's part of my investigation. You know it is the presence. I've I know. drinking. I know, I can tell. That's just part of my investigation. But, it's like just, I said, let's, I, let's, I, let's, I, if I have to park this car right here, right now. Hold on, it's, it's just a yes or no. I don't. We don't need to go back and forth about it. It's just a yes or no. But what if I what if I take this test and I don't, I don't care about I can walk home. Why I don't would have you, to I don't have to park why the would, car's legit. Why would you walk home? Because I just don't want to be in violation of anybody. I can walk my my sister's house is right here. Do you think that you'd be in violation of something if we if if you were to drive your vehicle? If if you know if that's less possible for me to park here, lock the car up. And do everything that I need to do within the presence of you guys. I can just go home. I have my daughters there right now. My three, my daughter's birthday was yesterday. All right, hold on, Mr. Brooks. Just, will you take a preliminary breath test for me? It's yes or no. I don't want to refuse anything. Uh, it's yes or no. It's completely up to you. Yes, I, I will. Okay, just wait here while I grab it. Yeah. 
All right, just take a deep breath in. Put your mouth over the mouthpiece. Blow as hard as you can until I tell you to stop. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Very good. I just had a, a few drinks. That's it. How many? One and a half. Like I said, I was into the second cup. I wasn't even... I told her, babe, let's go because I'm hungry. I what need what kind eat. of drinks did you have? Uh, I'm not sure. It's something she ordered. She said top shelf or whatever. Top shelf what? I'm not sure. It was... Like I said, it was her birthday and... It was my daughter's birthday intent to, you know, have a good time. And I said, babe, you know... I'm hungry. Let's go. My 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 baby's mom. She was there. I said, "Babe, go ahead. I'm cool. You know, here's the money for the blow up bed tomorrow. Here's the money for, you know, to enjoy herself tomorrow. Just you know, give me a burger or or something. To right. Just take me home. I'm ready to go. So you had about one and a half drinks, but you don't remember what kind of drinks they were. No, sir. All right. I really don't, Mr. Rock. All right. I think you've had too much to drink to be driving. So put your hands behind your back for me. Here, put your hands behind your back. Hey, hey, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. You're going to get tased. You're going to get tased. You're going to get tased. Stop. Come on, man. Stop. You're going to get tased. Mr. Rock. Hey, hands off the fucking taser. Stop. Hands stop off the taser. Stop fighting. Hands off the taser. Was anyone recording that shit? Like when fucking 
Yo, dude, these fucking cops and that shit are necessary as fuck. Well, we watch dude, man. We watch him. Look, look, look. Talk to him. Talk to him. He's not in the street. All right, man. I saw these two cops talking to this gentleman, and they were having polite discourse the whole time. You know what I'm saying? This dude was not being aggressive. He was talking. He was like, yeah, you know, whatever. Getting harassed for no fucking reason. And then I think he realized that they were going to arrest him for no fucking reason. So he, like anyone else, that's going to get arrested for no fucking reason, was like, fuck that. And he ran away. His car is here. He's going to come back. Why the fuck would you shoot him? I mean, his car is here. If you leave your fucking vehicle here, why the fuck do you need to shoot somebody, bro? The fuck? Right now, what we got to do? We gotta make sure no evidence is disturbed. We gotta make sure whatever the real story will come out. So, if anybody got something to add to it, want to speak to a supervisor or something, you're more than welcome to stay. If not, y'all gonna be stuck up for a while. So we're gonna shut the whole city down. Bro, I'm not talking man, to a they white can't. cop that just killed a guy. They first can't. of all, they and I'm not gonna talk to right a supervisor here. who would ever defend a fucking white cop that just shot a guy for no fucking reason. I get you. I get you. That was my friend, the man. fuck, dude? For no reason, bro. All of us saw that shit. He didn't do shit. He didn't do shit. He, he no didn't do a fucking man. thing, dude. I saw the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Well, he didn't do a fucking thing. When they got cameras, they got body cam. Everything documented. Everything documented. They're oh, just gonna make an excuse. Oh, they're just gonna make a fucking excuse. That's all they're gonna do is make a fucking excuse. That's rolling. He That's couldn't wrong. even handle himself. The little, the, little, the little piece of shit couldn't even handle himself. But he was putting on his gloves. He was fucking, because he knew he fucked up. He knew he fucked up. And I said that shit. I was like, your career is over. Fucking pig, dude. Sorry, but that's the fuck in the drive through in Wendy's. White cops killing black people. Mr. Brooks, keep breathing. Mr. Brooks, keep breathing for me. We got enough room for our ambulance to get in. What's that with security? Stand right there and tell the ambulance come right here. Come right through there. Everybody running around like fucking chickens with their head cut off. Tell the ambulance come right there. Tell the ambulance come right there. Mr. Brooks, keep moving. Bros. This is not mine. This is his. Say, tell him CPR is in progress. CPR.
She saw them trying to take right. their taser. Make separate, sure they talk. Uh, separate the witnesses. It's a car. It's a car with two witnesses up here, too. Go with him. He needs to go for some witnesses. Fuck you, bro. You need, uh, if we're famous, we're going to go. So, this, Brooks is going to bring my bike. Can you just stand by with the old boy in the booth? Brooks is going to bring my bike. We got him. Let's have him separate. He's in the way. Yeah. If my body cam comes, I can believe it. What the fuck are you having with no body cam? What the fuck I'm talking about? You're going way too fucking much. Mine and his. Oh, the suspect's vehicle is the white one there. Okay. Good? Yeah. Uh, I smacked my head pretty hard against the concrete. Okay. So cool up, where's your camera? Did you lose your camera? Yeah, I got it from my pocket. Okay. Actually, I don't know. It's, I don't okay. know where the mouth is. Okay. Alright. Alright. You uh, discharged. I did. Okay. Uh. I don't want no, no, to hear anything about it right now. Is it, is it cool if I call a rep real quick? Huh? Is it cool if I call a rep? Yes. Is there anything more pressing to do before the... Um, no, go, go ahead. All right, I'm going to do the same. Uh, yes. uh, do you have IBPO? Yeah. Uh, just call for both of them. You know what? Let, let me, I'm just going to call. Let me call. Let me call. All right. Hey, man, I call. Hey, man. Hey Ken, I had, a, I had an officer involved shooting, need a rep for two officers at 125 University at the Wendy's. Yeah.
Thank you. Do I have blood on my elbow? Yeah. Does it look like mine? A little like a squirt. Well, the GBI is going to have to come out. Yeah, yeah. So, don't stand by for them. Yeah, don't talk to them. No, no, no. I can't. No, no, no. I mean, disinfectant. Hey, yeah. Hey, you good, man? Yeah, I'm good. All right, all right. I mean, disinfectant. What? So, yeah. I mean, what what happened? Well, you know what? Yeah. We just talked to. Uh, yeah, no, no, I got yeah, yeah, I got yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I just, the, uh, I just, I felt blood on my elbow. I don't know if it's mine or his. I want to get it off. Okay. But you, you, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Call right. oh, you up. Yeah. That whole taser probe. From when he fucking shot it at me. Did he hit you with it? I I felt it, but I don't. I don't see anything. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any disinfectant wipes? They're uh, they're busy. I'm let them. I'm gonna let them deal with it. Pincher! Hey, bot. You have any disinfectant wipes? Uh, yeah.
Yeah, you guys don't do anything. Well, you need some water or anything? Nah, I'm okay. Actually, you have any? Yeah. You also? No. Well, he is now. He wasn't here at the oh. time. Me, uh, and uh, what, what's your name? Brosnan. And uh, Brosnan. Brosnan. B R O S N A N. N A N. N as in Nancy. Adam Nancy. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It, uh, it's near University and prior to the Wendy's here. Yeah, the Wendy's, in the Wendy's parking lot. All right, thank Yeah, all right. Ah, uh, shit, all of them. Um, I don't know. All of them around here. Alright, bye, Ken. Hey, um, what will happen? Please, I'm trying to follow you. I've been I've been You were at Morning Watch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The IBP will advise me not to talk to anybody. Hmm? Let's make a statement with him. Uh, uh, I hit my head pretty hard. It's Seven three nine four. You you okay me? Yeah. Are you wearing stuff? Are you wearing stuff? Oh man. Uh, hey, why don't we move you guys outside of the wherever you want to go? Let's go wherever you come from, man. Called to do a DUI investigation. Okay, so there's only three officers on the inside. Yeah. It developed probable cause to arrest the suspect for DUI. He resisted arrest and he gained control of the other officer's taser and started running as I pursued him. He turned and started firing the taser at me. Okay. So his taser didn't have any deployment? Yes, it did. No, no, I'm saying um, prior to him getting control of that. You know, I, too specific. I don't, know. don't worry about it. All right, so you went to assist his own three officers. But he, he definitely did shoot it at me at least once. Okay. Uh, Brosnan is the officer you came to assist? Brosnan. B-R-O-S-N-A-N. Right. So you came to assist him, develop probable cause for DUI arrest, su suspect arrested or resisted arrest, got a control of one of the officer's weapons. Correct. Okay. It's a 10-19. 10-20. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm bad. Got so much going on. Yeah, it's a golf. Is he rough, right? Rough, I don't want to be. You good, you all right? Yeah. Just still got the adrenaline pumping. Right, so I'm not going to ask you any question. That's GBI's job. I bet you're just here assisting uh, Zone 3? Yes. Uh, you, uh, what's that officer's name, sir? 
Brosnan, B-R-O-S-N-A-N. He's over there somewhere. And it was an initial DUI stop? Yes. Yeah, it was a 911 call uh, about a subject passed out behind the wheel in the drive through which led to a DUI investigation. Uh, the uh, person that was shot, the person that was shot, what part of the body was he struck? Uh, from what we saw, once in the back and once in the butt. And uh, you did put the taser at one of you guys? Yes, at me. Yep. Do you need to sit down in the AC somewhere? No, I'd, I'd prefer to stand. Okay. Thank you. Do you need something else to drink? No, no, I think it's fine. Do you need uh, EMTs? Or... No, I'm good. Want to ask me, no, sure. no, yeah. I appreciate it. Well, I need to wipe my mic off. I think it's got his blood on it. So I was just coming to your wife's. I'm okay. All right, good, 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 good. All right, we're going to take care of you, bro. 
I'm just glad you are right. That's my biggest concern. Yeah, we're good. All right, good. You talked to your wife? You talked to your family, everybody? No, I hadn't called anybody other than the IPPO. Okay. All right. Appreciate Hopefully we'll get this cleared up. Anything uh -huh. you need from me? Any yeah. update on the on Mr. Brooks? No, I ain't checked yet, so. Okay. We'll get that squared away, all right? All right. But you're good. Sit down? No, I don't, don't want to be cooked up in the car. <sighs> Smith. I'm good. I haven't seen you in forever. I've seen you. Are you still out in zone three? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dug my stakes deep. Boots run deep. I appreciate you coming out. Oh, it's no problem. Because we heard the, the stop. You know, and all this transpired. Yeah. So I was about to start taking out warrants, but I guess I'll be trying to do that again tomorrow. You be safe, all right? Thank you. He might Yeah.
Yeah. You alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Good to see you again. How you doing? Okay. You alright? Yeah. Alright. Um, so we're gonna, is this, he was involved too? Okay. I was the only one that discharged the firearm. Okay. Um, you guys are gonna go to yeah, headquarters? No. To Dr. Cameron? And show up. Okay. Okay. Um, Rodnick's gonna coordinate getting all up there. Any, any update on Mr. Brooks? I don't know. No. Um, Somebody going with us? Yeah. Um, sort of Rodnick, he'll do that. Okay. He'll secure your gear in your car and get that all taken care of. Okay. But he's going to, you know, dock your camera and upload that. Alright. Give him the brief. Alright. Upload camera and hang out. Be sure everything just the way it is. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, are you, are you driving us or are we driving I'm, I'm taking you to HQ. Everything okay. is staying on. Okay. Alright. And, um, let me get my, let me get my laptop. You got a phone? My wallet's in the car, so don't take anything. Um, yeah, we'll secure all that and handle getting your car back. Huh? We'll secure all that and handle getting your car back. Okay. Um, we're going to have to drive it home at the end of the shift. Hey, Bert, you okay? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to get my I'm gonna get my laptop. Apparently, EAP wants to talk to you over, I guess, via Skype or something. I don't know how we're going to do that, but I'm gonna, they're going to send me a link. and uh, They're going to have to pull it up. Yeah, we're going to head to headquarters. Who, who's heading to headquarters? Well, the two involved. So that they can dock their cameras. Okay. And the GBI can tie them out of the bank, so. Okay, well, I is just got off the phone with EAP. Well, I mean, I guess we could do it now and then. Yeah, we could do it, we could do it there. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Six four zero zero. So, now, who, um... Where's the zone three officer? Rosen. He's right there. I want to the left, talking to Sergeant or Lieutenant is that, Carter. Is that where is that where the GBI the GBI is going to meet them at? Yeah, that's what we're going to tell them when they get here. As opposed to doing all this on scene, yeah. so they can get their cameras docked, get it all uploaded, and so it's there. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice controlled environment. Okay, We're at which office? Just hang out at Homicide. Okay. We can hang out Are you on third. Homicide? Are you real? Just as a third thought. Um, I know the people are getting quite over there in the corner. Mm -hmm. I don't know. want to keep them in there. You don't want to keep them in there. Could have been on vacation. <laughs> I blame you. You want Brosnan too? Yep, uh, we'll go so separate. separate. Okay. Someone else transport him down. Okay.
Seatbelt, sir? Yes. Seatbelt for safety. It's on. Right. You want me to leave my camera on for the ride? Yeah. All right. Side screen. Still hadn't gotten that cranked fixed, I see. <laughs> Apparently, it's not something that can be fixed by email. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gathering that no matter how many emails I send out about the crack windshield, it's going to take me physically being there. At 7 a.m., right? Do they have windshields? No. No. They got the... But I got to get a hold of the guy. I mean, they just swap them out, right? Well, you, yeah, you would think, right? So, um, th there is a there is a safe flight guy there. I, I don't think it's like a same day. I think you have to... Oh, let me let me tell Ken we're going to have you. You have to order up a, uh, a windshield and then make an appointment to have it actually repaired. Two step process, my understanding. I see. Always got to go through the, the bureaucracy. Uh huh. You betcha. There's always paperwork. Well, actually, I've done the paperwork. That's actually not the issue. It's getting the guy who does the glass to physically do the glass, which then means he also must order said glass. Ken. Hey, they're moving me and Brosnan into the homicide office at headquarters, so that's where we'll be. Yes. No, Sergeant Brodnick's driving me, and somebody else is going to drive Brosnan. I don't know. I've asked, and I don't think anybody's gotten an update on his condition. Okay. He was. Oh, yeah, I mean, just, just call when you get here, and I'm sure somebody can let you in. Hey, brother. No, I definitely cannot. Yes. Sure. Okay. No, yeah, yeah right, just, just call when you get here. I'm sure somebody will let you in. Everybody knows who you are. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Drive safe. Bye-bye. Hey, just be... I would not be giving any specific or nothing about nothing that over that thing. No, I'm just letting my family know I'm okay. Okay. You can stop. Where are you going? I am hot right now. Wait, what are you? Where are you going? Wait, what now? Where Where are we going? I I didn't think about. It. I want to be in the parking garage. Oh, okay. And so I didn't a good plan to get there. <laughs> Originally, my thought was, oh, I'll just park down the side, and then I'll. We can back. We can go. But park is there a beep beep access from that side? We can scan our cards to go into the side door. Is it the parking deck?
Uh, no, not in the parking deck. No, I want to, I want to park in the parking deck. Oh. Just because. If, if one what are they going to do? Crack your windshield? <laughs> if, if one were to be so organized, uh, not that I think it would lead here, but if one were to be so organized with the group of people that are already out here. Yeah, I get that. Um, you know, with the people that are already out here, and then this So, um, makes sense. You know, if they were brought the group down there because of this, then it would really get uh, out of control. You okay though? Yes. I know people keep asking. I know it's probably annoying as hell. No. I appreciate uh, your caring, but I'm okay. I would like to know his condition if, if when we get it. Any updates? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know how it is down there. They uh. They'll evaluate. I'm sure that he's already in surgery or something of that nature. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Atlanta Police, can you uh, let me in the parking garage? Hello? Bueller? I can't even think of really a worse design than what that is. That's not a good entrance, is it? It's just... There's nothing good about that. This entrance makes good sense. Hmm. As you can see, they busted that all up too. That's the one that never works. I think it's there's nowhere for us to park like the first eight levels, right? Every time you make a turn, you gotta watch. Make sure you're not gonna clop her into somebody. Yeah, I wonder how many wrecks they have here in the oh, park today. I can't even imagine. Well, you work in zone five. The junk, well, I guess nah, they can kind of handle. They would own. just handle their own. You should, most of the time, I'm sure they would call it damaged property. You know what I mean? Uh huh. So, I think that is a good spot. For us. I think this is probably gonna have a sign on it. Yeah. No. It's good. Okay. I know it would have been expensive to build a skyway 
between the two buildings, which is why they created this little underground passage. Mm -hmm. But serious. Aren't they basically connected? Yeah. So it wouldn't have to be much of a skyway as much as a, a hole between the two buildings. Well, what they could right. What they could have done was basically built a wall, and on every deck they could have had entrances to that floor. I guess from a security standpoint, though, it's better to have single entrances, True. easier to cover. I doubt that was part of their thought process. Somebody, somebody went to go grab their card anyway. Oh, you good? No, I'm just waiting for him. Are you good? Huh? Aren't you, aren't you out there? Yeah. You good? Mm hmm Okay. You good? You still? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. All right. No, no, I'm, I'm good. Have you here all night? Huh? Have you here all night? Or are you just chilling? No, I, I came with my sergeant. Neither of us had a card to get in, so he's going to get his. He left it in the car. Nah, I might as well wait for him. Appreciate it. Said I've never bought anything there. I have it since I was first. Oh. LT. Hey, yeah, yeah, Danny, how 
Yeah, yeah we, we just got in the building. How far gone? Two or three. Uh, shit, what's his name? Sergeant. Who is it? A butler. You want to raise him and yeah, see if they're coming? Got his damn number before we left. Uh, you know, I think I have it. You said Sandling was up here. You said Sandling was here? Yeah. Oh, well, let me call him. Hey, we're trying to get into the homicide office. Are you here? Okay, sorry, you can let us in, please. I'm sorry, say it one more time. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. All right, come on. Is that my answer? Yeah, he said, he said he was here, and he's going to come with us in. I don't know if he was in the office. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up, man? You, uh, you use Dr. Cameron? Yes. Yeah. Where? Upstairs. Oh. Anybody from the GBI come with you? No, not yet. No, they said he'd be us here. Yeah. 